What's going on, day people? It's your boy Yanks, man, back with another video. And today I'll be reviewing the uh, safe and healthy disinfecting UV light uh, versus uh, phone spy, phone accessory, accessory sanitizer, uh, portable UV wand. So this device is uh, made by uh, this company called Tazumi. You've probably seen me review a few of the items. Um, so they came out with something you can pack with you if you're traveling a lot. Uh, nice and compact. I bought this maybe a month ago. Made a video on it, and um, I wasn't happy with the product. Um, so a couple days ago, I saw this one and uh, decided to do a comparison video since they're supposed to be the same thing, but by two different companies. All right. Uh, what's happened with this one in particular because of the uh, the lighting on it for the UV it was real weak and I, I thought it was broken or I got a defective one so I actually took it back and got another one and the lighting was the same so. and I'm stuck with it now but um, as you can see on the back how it kills germs you, know, you can use it in practice on anything and it's self-standing as you see right there so you just put your item under it like so and then whatever you're trying to sanitize you can put underneath it or use it this way okay and it gives you directions uh, it says um, go up or down your item uh, I believe it was 10 to 20 seconds what the direction said and then flip over and do the same thing and it's supposed to sanitize your device um, and the same for this one here okay kills 99.9 .9 virus germs bacteria and it shows again got the same thing on the back using it on any and everything okay so not to mix them up but the one on the left takes batteries as you can see here takes four triple a batteries this one here you charge it via micro usb which is a bonus because you don't have to keep buying batteries um probably the best thing about this but like i said once i show you the, the lighting comparison you'll see why i wasn't happy with this one okay so inside this one, the safe and healthy, this was the packaging. So it comes like this. And just give you the brief instructions uh, for best results. Hold the device one or two inches above area you wish to sanitize. So 10 seconds, 20 seconds uh, for soft surfaces. And uh, one thing I like about this one, it chimes to let you know it's on and when it's done after the 10 or 20 seconds. This one doesn't make a sound. All right, so you just kind of gauge it on your own. I mean, we can all count to 10 and 20 seconds, but the convenience of having your device chime is, uh, is a bonus. Of course, your cautions. Uh, UV rays can be harmful to the skin, so. I wouldn't look right into it or try to sand your arm or anybody for it. All right, that's your cautious of mine. Talking about the same thing, safety and hazards, and how to put the batteries in. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and it's a thank you card. So that's the packaging inside of the safe and healthy. Uh, I can't remember if I left the packaging inside of this one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I did. So this one has kind of the same instructions and direction as the uh, the phone by the phone spy uh, bath, the larger device I reviewed uh, about a week ago. Uh, but this hurts you see your little detail on how to use it 
basically everything I just kind of covered. There's your UV lights there, charging port on the back. And there's an LED on the side of it. I can just show you here. LED on the side indicating when it's on and when it's charging. When it's charging, it's red. When it's on, it's blue. Okay. So it comes with the same description, uh, basically explaining the test they ran to uh, let you know that it works. This is the same piece of paper that's inside of the, um, the spot bath. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, that's the same signature at the bottom here. So these devices have been thoroughly tested. But of course, you're more than welcome to buy a bacteria kit or a germ kit and test it on your own. Okay. So, um, why was this one with this device? You hold the button down to turn it on. See the blue light is on. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but you can barely see the light is on. but and the light won't turn on unless you have it down for safety reasons so trying to get you a quick glimpse at it the glare is kind of strong but either way the light is not as bright as it's advertising on the box there uh, it doesn't the bulb doesn't even completely light up like the blue oops like the blue line here it doesn't do that at all. Um, let me see if I can get it to come on. Let me see. Wait one second. It, I mean, the light is so dim. I mean, it, it's on. I'm looking at it now. But it's so dim, you won't be able to tell. And. I wish I wasn't making this up because this device is cheaper than the other one. If I could get it to work, like they advertised it, I would have stuck with it. But anyway, so the safe and healthy shield, power button here. Look at that. Came right on, bright light. All right, with these kind of things, and you heard it beep. You got to feel like they're working. Uh, otherwise, otherwise you'll be doing your own testing um, just to see that the UV is doing what it says it does about killing bacteria and viruses. And with the foam spy, with the light being as low it is, as low as low as it is, it just wasn't selling. At least when I see this light, I, I have this feeling that it's working that it's working properly, that it's working uh, diligently. So, according to the instructions, let's move this back. You're supposed to go over your item 10 to 20 seconds. Let's adjust the camera here so you can see. You go over your, whatever you're sanitizing, back and forth for 10 to 20 seconds. All right, and I think Hold it a little bit closer. There it is. So see so if it's holding it an inch or two away at best. And up and down just like this, 10 to 20 seconds. And this is a product I can get behind. As a matter of fact, let me see. Let me use a phone spy. Let's see if you can see the reflection as I use it. So, so it's on. You see the blue light indicating that it's on. Shut this down. Look at that. No reflection. I mean, you can see the reflection of the light's not even on. So I turned it off. So I turn it back on. It's probably going to be the only way y'all will be able to see it. Okay. Let's 
zoom in. So the light is on. I mean, that's just how bad this product is. And you can't you can't even see the reflection of the light. But it's on, I see it. You have to be looking real close. Bad, bad, bad. These will be on clearance in no time. Uh, once people start returning them back to the store. You see the LED on, it's still on. And this is out of the first one I bought was showing. Like I said, I thought it was something wrong with it. So I took it back and got another one. And only to find out that this is just how it worked. Like, wow. Somebody really gave this product a stamp of approval and uh, sent it out to be sold to the consumers. Uh, Give me a second, I'm trying to get my light back on. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so that's the Suzumi phone spy portable UV wand. Won't be using it. This bad boy here though, appears to be getting the job done. Let's turn it on. beep indicating your 10 seconds and by this being long I can actually open up my phone and do it this way so I know I tried to put my galaxy fold in this phone spot and it was too big open so I can only sanitize the outside of it putting it in the phone spot but using this device I can also sanitize my screen. Like I said, according to the instructions, this is how you use it. Let's give it another look. Yeah, there it is. So for best results, hold device one to two inches above the area you wish to sanitize. 10 seconds. 20 seconds for your soft surfaces. It will chime every 10 seconds that you know when the area is sanitized. It's pretty straightforward. All right. And this is again, safe and healthy UV light. You can pick this up at your uh, local Walmart. Uh, I did. I don't, I'm not sure if any, I'm pretty sure some other stores are carrying it. Cost me about 20 bucks. Just give you a look around the whole device. It's a lot stronger, it feels a lot stronger than the uh, phone spy. Also a lot heavier. And it could be, the weight could be the difference, could be the four batteries that's in it. You know, but. Those are your two devices. All right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to check out my other video, especially the one I did on the uh, phone spy sanitizing bath. Uh, really cool. You can put more than just your phone in there, a remote control, keys, jewelry. And um, yeah, give your phone a uh, UV bath, so to speak, or your device. All right. Have any questions or anything I didn't cover during this video? Please drop the comments below. I'll respond back to you as soon as I see them. It's your boy Yancey, man. I'm out.